Okay, I'd just like to um, quickly discuss setting up Cartoon Eyes. Um, so let's say um, traditionally you've been running with characters with just um, heads with round eyes, which are very easy, easy to um, um, in context be able to put into a, a eyeball like this, perfectly round and spherical so it's going to go inside the eye cavity here quite well but um, what happens when you have an a um, maybe a, a slightly rectangular or slightly oblong sort of shaped eye something like you know the cavity here like this you know for a cartoony type character what happens there because if you take a traditional eye um, normal eyeball like this and then you start to, um, you know, warp it or oblong shape like an egg shape. What's going to happen here um, when you go to animate the eye rotating? It's going to come out of the eye socket. See, it starts to bulge out. Okay, so um, and just just to show you what I mean, exaggerated. So see, it starts to pop out. So to avoid this, and you still want maybe s strange um, shaped eyes, what you'll need to do is add a lattice deformer. Um, let me just get out of this to the eye shape. So this is a normal um, sphere, and it has what's called a lattice deformer applied to it. There is a lattice deformer, which is a cage so to do that you just come up to say in your modeling um, deform and you got lattice lattice and you can tell it how many divisions etc and to adjust the lattice you can right click on the cage and select lattice points then you can adjust these okay so that's a lattice deformer all right, so that's been deformed. Now, um, that's that's one step of it. But what you'll need to do after that to be able to get this to work, because the lattice will keep moving around, and um, it's going to make the eye sort of go all weird and jumping around inside there. So what you actually need to do here is create a cluster, and that's the trick. So. Um, if you look at this right now, here's the eye control, uh, the eye control, and they move around. See, this is what we want to achieve. Let me just go a bit closer. Okay, so by selecting the actual mesh of the eyeball, and then go um, what we deform cluster and this way you'll create a cluster come up here and make sure that when you parent them all together they're parented one into a group so group them you should have the cluster the um, lattice all under that one group like this and then it, all of that will then be um, parented under your eye group like that okay here is the actual left eyeball and I have a simple aim constraint looking at the um, target okay so that's how you go about that um, hopefully that helps one more thing the actual um, don't forget that the cluster there's the cluster there. It needs to be set to relative. How do you do that? You can click on the cluster, um, cluster attributes. By by default, relative will be off. Make sure that's turned on. Okay. All right. Um, so make sure once again you have a hierarchy like this. Okay. Thanks for watching.